Hello everybody, I am Jarrett Ross, a genie vlogger, and welcome back to another Professional Genealogist Reacts. On today's video, I will be watching Patrick Stewart talks about his father from Who Do You Think You Are? This is the first in the clips from the Patrick Stewart episode of Who Do You Think You Are? Um, I'm going to be reacting to these, and then after Patrick Stewart, I'll be reacting to J.K. Rowling. And then after that, probably do another poll and figure out uh, who people prefer. Uh, for this video, obviously it's going to be about his father, it says, talks about his father. It's a very quick one, so not really going to say much anything else. We'll just have to watch the video. But before we do, please be sure to give this a like. That really does help me out. Also, be sure to subscribe and click that bell for notifications on future videos. But with all that fun stuff said, let's go ahead and watch the video. Patrick's father, Alfred Stewart, who died in 1980, was in the army for many years. He was posted overseas around the time of his first son, Geoffrey's birth, and didn't marry Gladys until Geoffrey was eight. He was posted abroad again in 1940, just months before Patrick was born. While Alfred was away fighting in France, Patrick and his brother Trevor lived at home with their mother. I do remember that I had a cot which was alongside her bed and the sides of the cot could slide down and I have a distinct memory of rolling from my cot into her bed and then rolling back again and thinking that was good fun. And so I, I think that I was indulged and spoiled and petted and loved during those five years. All of that changed dramatically when this man appeared in the house. Um, in many respects, uh, not for the better either. Hmm. At weekends, when he had been drinking, he could get very angry. Uh, I don't ever recall being hit by him. Even when at times I would intervene in rows between my mother and my father, I would put my body between them at what I thought were critical moments. And I don't remember him ever being, even pushing me hard or being violent with me. But he was to my mother. He hit her. He threw things at her. Hmm. I think of my mother often and the loneliness she must have felt at times. But she adored my father. I mean, later on, my brother and I discussed with her, you know, leaving him. But there was no question of it. I think she really loved him. Patrick remembers his father as a violent husband, but he knows there was another side of Alfred's life which he wants to find out more about. His war service uh, found him a superstar, and I'm told he was very, very good at his job. Hmm. I'm guessing the video is going to be, or the series is going to follow his father's military uh, career, because that's going to be extremely interesting. Um, but based on the story that he's saying, it sounds like his father probably was maybe experiencing some sort of PTSD, um, you know, having served in the war, that certainly makes sense. And, um, yeah, let's just, we'll just say. Patrick see. picked up scraps of information about Alfred's army life from the stories his father told him as a child. They were adventure stories and he was a very good raconteur. So I would have him repeat some of the stories over and over again because I enjoyed them so much. Now Patrick wants to reconcile the conflicting sides of his father's character and to understand why army life had such a powerful impact on him. Whatever I find out about his time in the army is going to be illuminating because it was having left all that behind him that made him at times a pretty unhappy individual. All right. Well, yeah, that was a that was a really quick video. Um, basically, just kind of a quick establishing of um, Patrick Stewart's early life, growing up with uh, his mom for the first five years, and then his dad showing up in the picture, and kind of then having a whole different family dynamic. In my experience as a genealogist, having worked with so many people on their family trees. 
this is certainly not an uncommon story of having a very violent father where the mother just, you know, she loves him and she doesn't want to, you know, leave him. Um, it's also not too uncommon for people to have certain resentments against their parents or a parent because of similar issues. So it'll be interesting to see as he goes through the journey, will anything kind of be, you know, will anything give him that sort of like aha moment of like, oh, okay, well, you know, that kind of makes sense why he reacted to this in this way or, you know, something like that. But I mean, not, there isn't always though, you know, sometimes you get information and you're left with even more questions than you had before. Um, but either way, I think it's going to be interesting because if he, you know, they had a lot of photos of him from World War II. So I imagine they're going to be able to find a lot of documentation and, uh, this I don't know when this was shot the video was put on YouTube in 2014 I'm pretty sure this is much older than that so depending on how old this was if there were people who were alive who served with his father they may do some sort of thing where he connects with them on that um because I know I've seen that in other videos for who do you think you are well thank you so much for checking out this video i do hope that you enjoyed if you did please be sure to give it a like that really does help me out you can also click right about here if you'd like to subscribe it is completely free to do so you can also follow me on facebook twitter or instagram at genie vlogger i'm the genie vlogger see you in my next video